Um, uh, basically, I'd like to start off. You had mentioned um, with regards to a change or other study uh, with regards to low-income pensioners and uh, low-income individuals in general. Can you please give us an explanation of how that will, that will work? First of all, we're not apologetic that in the previous budget we earmarked the middle-income groups because these were the more productive. They are, um, they've got families, they've got children, they've been kept back from participating because of the obstacles. So we gave them more justified if they, you know, to make work pay. We remove all the obstacles. We provide childcare centres and so on and so forth. And that has shown results. The second one was also the fact that those who are dependent on welfare have been reduced through these schemes. In other words, we've managed to lower the beneficiaries on these income supplements by 1,000. The same uh, roughly figure, about another 1,000, from those who are unemployed. Those are all savings which the government can then use on other, other benefits. So the, the next turn now is to look at the lower uh, strata of income strata to see exactly who are the real poor uh, because some of them are getting uh, benefits in kind some are not some are cash poor but assets rich so we have to distinguish on those who are really more needy and then we'll address it um, uh, Minister, with re regard to the uh, COLA, the cost of living adjustment, um, will there be a rise this year or will it be roughly, roughly the same as last year? No, that's a formula. It's automatic. So uh, soon, uh, in September, the NSO will work out the formula. They will send it to the uh, MCSD and it will be announced there but it will be based on the inflation rate um, of the last uh, 12 months prior to September, and it will be announced then. 